Hello everybody to Grainificent. Today we will be unboxing our new addition to this channel. Of course, the dark room's not ready yet, but we're already getting stuff for the dark room. Uh, as you've seen on a previous video, we got a uh, Crocus 44 and larger. That was the maximum format there was four by four centimeters. Uh, those old square types. We needed one also for our medium format because we got the Start 66, that's 6x6 six six format, of course. Uh, TLR, that is. And this is the Mamiya 645. I love taking photos with this. And I can't wait to try out to take some square format with the 6x6. Six six. So we finally got an enlarger for our medium format. So let's get into unboxing. All right, so we got some weird packing going on here. So the seller did made quite a good job of packing all this. So what do we got here? Is there something in here? No, that's just filling. And so here we start with the fun things. Let's uh, get rid of this box here there we go so we got this we got this oh i got many of these already but it can always come in handy and we got the board for the enlarger for him to stand on it and do we have anything else here nope we don't got anything else all right I don't want this board to stand directly on my desk because it has a mirrored surface and easily scratchable. That's not a great work desk. All right, so let's get unwrapping here. All right. So we got the main stand, I would say that's called. All right, what do we got here? Something like this. Ah, uh, here we got this. Take this screw apart, if you ever have anything like this. We'll teach you along the way how to put it together. So, this bolt goes under the board. It has to go from underneath because it has its own holder there, as you see here. So when it goes through, you don't have to grab it with any wrench or anything from the bottom because in between that it will not rotate so you can easily put this on so the way you put this on is of course just like that it's easier with two people on here grab on with this knob here just like that pull it up so the bolt goes into a spot and you rotate it so it screws on nicely nice and tight it's not too tight so you don't tear the threads off. So we got our large mount. All right, we don't like things running around in there. So let's get it out. Red filter broke off from the packaging. That's not good. And we don't like things running around in there because there's a glass in there. Oh boy, oh boy. Hopefully everything is good and well. Oop. We take this off, put it through this hole over here, and we tighten it back on, make it nice and tight. The packaging wasn't too great on here, but oh well, stuff happens, you can't predict everything. The packaging was good, but looks like it wasn't good in this part. So now in order to open this, to put in the bulb or other stuff, you just unscrew these two screws on the sides here. Well, oh well, it's your buying used stuff, so okay. This is what was flying around. All right, let's see here. This cassette should be coming out as well. Why ain't it coming out? It is a drawer here. Oh, there we go. All right, all right, that was protecting the bulb, I guess, yep. This moves around a bit, but that's not much of a problem. So we got our bulb. Regular white glass bulbs go in 
two enlargers like these. It is a little bit scratched from something running around in there. Everything else here looks good. So let's put this bulb back in there. All right. So now there's a condenser lens over here. It was getting hit by this constantly. It is quite a big chunk of glass. Comes apart still. So you can take it out. It's actually two glasses. You can take them out. Just remember which way they go in. It's not too clean. You should clean those glasses whenever you get them. Always clean your equipment so it's nice and tidy. So I got these lens wipes. You can buy whole packs of them on eBay. They do a very beautiful job in cleaning lenses and all types of glass. For me, I got one of these big rubber things to unscrew um, parts from big lenses. They usually are meant to help with the glass so they don't scratch it up or anything like that. So let's just clean the edges of this here. So we can put this aside just like that. Of course, be careful not to drop anything. You wouldn't want to break this part. I guess this part is as expensive as an entire enlarger. So break this glass. It's basically buying a new, well, not new, but another used enlarger because I've seen these glasses sell for as much as entire enlargers. Oh, this glass was very dirty. Some beginning form of mold in here. That's why you gotta clean your optics if you can get to them. All right, so when we're done with these, then we just take a regular microfiber cloth, get all those. If you could get your glass as clean as possible, a blower could come in handy as well. Get the rest of that dust off here. As clean as it could get. I wonder if you could see my eye larger. We'll get inside here first before we assemble it completely. So actually, this part can be cleaned out externally. All right, let's see here. i just wipe these edges. Get any dust off here. It is a bit dirty. Let's see, we got dust flying around. Because this glass goes with this glass element goes down here with these little bolts behind these little edges here you turn it and it's locked into place so now and now to put it in there oh well we'll just use our hands Oop, the very edges and in you go now you're nice and straight now you're nice and straight all right so we got much cleaner than it was before, that's for sure. And of course, we put this top frame back on. Uh, let's let's use one of the wipes to clean it off as well. Get and as well, twist it to lock it in place here. All right, so we got this part good. So that thing that was flying around, if it happens to you as well, that this is a little adapter to put in smaller fil color filters in here because we don't plan on using color filters for now. Let's get this mounted up on here. Because we got the Crocus 66 color. If it doesn't have this sticker on or anything at all, any Crocus enlargers that have this drawer up here, they are made for color photography. You can do black and white on them as well. On a regular black and white enlarger that doesn't have this drawer, you can put the filters under here get the light going through the filters, putting them in after the negative, uh, you can degrade the image a bit, even for in case if you got very cheap filters that would uh, break apart the light a bit, that could get, that could degrade the image a lot. But if you have this drawer, you're actually putting the filters bef after the light, but before the magnifying uh, glasses and all that, and before the negative. So it's basically no matter how bad quality these filters would be, as long as their color is consistent, it will almost not affect the image. It's always good to have the best you could get, but in this case, you don't have to worry that much about it. Well, that wasn't too smart. We'll leave that out. 
So put this on its place. Put the drawer in here without that bracket thing. It's a little annoying running around. And let's see if the light works. We got it working. As you see, the light bulb works. The funny thing is, these light bulbs sometimes cost as much as some of the enlargers. So if you could get one with light bulb at a good price, that's a good savings for you as well. So now let's do some cleaning on this holder. And just open it up and clean the glasses from both sides. The way to take out the glass from these holders, you just slide these silver things to one side so they distance themselves from the glass because they, they're the ones that hold the glass in place. So when you slide this, you see, uh, to this side, it releases the glass. Just of course as well, uh, I see here it's narrower on one end, wider on the other end. So just remember which way the glass goes in. And you can take them out and clean them as well. Get the dust off. Of course, this will be blown out a thousand times because you will be cleaning this part every time basically you put in your film. So it's dust free. Let's get dust out from between there in the glass. And you slide this back to the opposite side and that holds on to the glass here. So you want this glass as clean as possible because dust from this glass will most likely have an effect. And we do the same thing on the opposite side. We slide this away and we raise the glass. And of course this is an all-in-one uh, film holder because with the maximum opening it reaches the 6x6 centimeter format. If you want to have smaller negatives on here you don't need smaller holders because like I said our uh, other one is basically only for the 35 millimeter and you would have to replace the insides or uh, completely new holders for film to put in other formats. This one is an all-in-one. That means you have one window here, that's six by six for the maximum, but you got these sliders here on over, uh, over here, this bottom one and over here, this one. So you can change the size of this window. If you move this one, you see you got curtains coming out and you could from the opposite side and from the bottom and from the top. And I think this is eight millimeters uh, film. If you would want such small film, you can put in eight millimeter film in here and you could still enlarge it. If you want 35 millimeters, you would have to align this with your uh, film if you want four by four, then you could of course open it up a bit. If you want, uh, I don't know, six by four and a half, I guess that's, those are closed. One is completely open or just a little bit closed and this one a little bit moved. You can set it to six, uh, four, five format. So it's an all in one holder that no matter what kind of film you want to print on paper, one type of holder for any type of film that is the Crocus 66 is a very good investment in this case. The 6.7 uh, allows for an even larger format, 6x7. There's also 6.9 for 6x9 format. And I think that's the largest in the Crocus lines. I would assume that because I don't remember seeing ever seeing in large, any larger format. Just the larger formats uh, from Crocus are very hard to come by. So that's why I got a 6x6 because I don't plan on going anywhere uh, higher than 6x6 because I don't have any camera that goes higher than 6x6 so eh, that's why I got this one because they are delicate and you don't want to break it because as well you can't buy these holders alone at least I never seen them in my country sold alone all right I got a blower of course get all these dusts away slide to close it just like that and we got a glass and just like that we could wipe out the interior there and the slide goes in here and so of course this lever works if you raise it up it raises the glass off the plane inside there so you can move your film around when you put it back down it presses onto the film so it's holding nice and tight 
super glue it together. And of course, the lens, you can take off the lens. Just like this, I think we took off a little bit too much. Yes, the lens itself comes out from its mount. Our lens is a bit dirty as well. We got the Amar lens here from PZO. That's the Polish uh, optical rear lens elements. See, it's always good to check your stuff before you use them because this rear element was loose and could the lens could have fallen out. The lens part could have fallen out from inside. So luckily we checked that. And of course we checked the, the f-stop blades inside there all work nicely all right so we're gonna have to clean them out as well get it nice and clean with these and the rear element as well because it's a little bit dirty and the microfiber there we go that's much much cleaner than it was before you could barely see anything through it before yeah some dust in there so we'll have to take it apart uh, completely to clean the interiors out one day but for now it's good enough this red filter screw will have to come off there we go and we're gonna have to super glue this end here because we're another type of glue and to raise this up of course you spin this for it to go up higher and you focus with this knob over here you see the bottom part comes out and I got a screw left over that I don't know where it belongs, but it fell out of the packing bag with all this stuff. Where could you go? Well, it looks like there's more missing to the screw than just this. It goes into here, holding on to the one of those holes to screw this plastic part together. Where does this go? There is completely nothing to indicate any. So people, we couldn't find out where this thing goes. Because I don't see any mount with two screws like this that looks like you just insert this and slide it on. If you're watching and you know anything about these enlargers and you've seen something like this, please let me know what I'm doing wrong here and where this thing goes. It doesn't look too important because obviously if it was more important it would be more obvious where it goes. And of course the last thing that came with this, this wasn't in the offer but it's always good to have more than one what is this to frame your well it is actually in better shape than my previous one because my previous one is falling apart so this will help us a lot because this you put under here and you frame your shots so the paper is held on and everything so you know the dimensions and everything so yeah these come in handy as well so if you're interested in film photography and darkroom stuff, please remember to subscribe down below so you don't miss any amazing video I make. You can follow my journey in film photography and darkroom developing as well. Please leave a like, that helps out the channel a lot. And stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching my friends, take care.